It almost goes without saying that writer Walt Williams made great efforts to ensure Spec Ops The Line's plot was written in a way that allowed for ambiguous interpretation. Enough direct information had to be provided for the player to be convinced the world he's in is real, while also restricting a fair share of information to create that sense of mystery and doubt. Plenty of tangible plotlines can be put together using the in-game intel, but that is for a later episode. For now, I'm wanting to cover The Fall of Dubai, an online webcomic of sorts available at specopsaline.com. Typically, the information found on a game's website is nonsensical text intended to hype a gamer into purchasing something. In the Lion's case, it is a little bit more text to add some context and depth to a game where few words mean so much. In the first days, there was no fear. Sandstorms had come before. The damage had been minimal. This would be no different. But the storm did not stop. Whole days would pass without seeing the sun. We were told to remain calm, that all was well, and like fools, we listened. We sat silently as the first plane went down. We watched calmly as sand stripped paint from our homes. We waited patiently as our world fell down around us, and how was our virtue repaid? Abandonment. He had toiled, keeping Dubai alive through the storm, but our bosses, owners, leaders, those who draped themselves with entitlement had fled the city, and with them, our hope for escape. Then he came, without reason or reward. Conrad and his damned 33rd. We were not their families, and this was not their home, and they still cared for us. We were gathered together, those who were left, us and our protectors. They led us away from our homes, believing all was well. Because a fool is quick to hope, and slow to learn. The storm came upon us without warning or mercy. I cannot tell you what happened. All I saw was the storm. All I heard was its roar. Somehow, we made it back to the city, to shelter away from those we left dead and buried by the storm. Now, we are all refugees, us and the damned, our identities and ideals, stripped away by the storm, like flesh from the bone, and with them, our hope for escape. These are the last days. Fear is all we know. This webcomic details events players will already understand after two solid playthroughs of The Lion, and yet, albeit being completely obvious in ways, even a bit overly poetic and potentially pretentious, it tells us a lot. Had a player read through this thoroughly before his playthrough of The Line, the actions performed by the Damn 33 would be watched way more carefully. Written firsthand by a civilian of Dubai, this webcomic slash poem serves as an ode to Conrad and his 33rd, even if he or she is aware that false idolism is fallacious. We were not their families, and this was not their home, and still, they cared for us. Thirty-thirds rounded up civilians. Why? Shit! They're gonna kill them all. We can't let that happen, Walker. We're not going to. Well, let's hurry up and get down there. Follow me.